quotation marks, and copyright notice. Got all that? Now I want to give you six good subheads that you can use without any royalties or payments to me or anybody else freely. Would that help you? Six good ones. Would that help you? I can skip that. If <laughs> Now the problem is I've brought so much material. This is what I'm guilty of because I want to pack so much in. What, what are we going to, you guys want to have lunch, right? No. <laughs> if you don't want to have lunch, I mean, I don't need lunch because I, when I'm, I'm keyed up, man, so I don't need lunch. But I, I don't want to interfere. It's your seminar. It's Andrew's seminar. Where's Andrew? <laughs> He's having lunch. <laughs> I know it's going to be hard for me to cover all the material I brought, and I don't want to run over. I don't want to interfere with it. One good thing is I wouldn't be interfering with any other speakers because we'd be going through the lunch period. So let, let me continue with the material as rapidly as I can so you're going to get it, and we'll see where we are, and we'll see where we go. Is that okay? And then we will see where you are. Okay. I mean, we're, we're supposed to go, you know, well, we'll see how we get. Okay, here we are. What about you? You describe your product, you describe the benefits, you describe the features, then you have near the close, what about you? Question mark. A full 30 day no risk trial. Don't hate yourself for missing out, you remember? Don't hate yourself for missing out. Start right away. You, you discuss your home study program, and you have toward the end, start right away. You can have it in your home. Within the next 24 hours, you start right away. You see how involving that is? Easy to use. Easy to use. Don't you like things that are easy to use? Especially if you're like me, you're not a technological wizard, you know, trying to hit buttons and so forth. By the way, I'm a big believer in the most money that you can ever make, and the most fun too, but the most money you'll ever make is when you study marketing. And part of marketing is copywriting. And I believe even if you're great at the technical stuff, doing web pages and all that, hire people, write checks for everything. But the thing you can't write checks so easily for is marketing, creating offers, creating products, creating copy. That's where the money is. If you just like spinning wheels and playing around with computers and so forth, that's not how you're going to create the future I think you all want. So this is what I do. I mean, I can type, for example. I've written 15 best-selling books, thousands of ads, and I write on yellow pads by longhand. And I have very rapid typists, including the best assistant I ever had, Bethany, she's the best editor that I ever had. She types some of my work. We have other typists to type because I'm writing copy every day, writing copy every day. And I write very fast in longhand, and that's what I'm used to, and that's what I stay with. Even though I learned in the Marine Corps, I had to type 60 words a minute. I can type. But why should I spend my time typing when I have a typist? I'm making so much, you know, earning so much for my clients if I'm using my creative skills not in that way. So. My webmaster does the web. I don't know anything technically. Turning on computer, I, I don't want to hear. I'll, I want to know what I'm going to get out of the computer. I want to know how, what I want out of the website. I want to know the marketing strategy, the offers, the bonuses, the copy, the headlines. That's where I'm focused. And that's what I recommend you do. And if you're good at that technical stuff, I feel sorry for you because, <laughs> because it's going to be hard for you to walk away from it, but that's what you should do. Let somebody else do it that gets paid 10 or 15 or $20 an hour, and you get the stuff that earns you thousands per hour. You got it? 
This is what I recommend. Okay. Next, free bonus. You got that up there? Free bonus. Very good subhead. Free bonus. That gets people attention and always and here, remember this phrase. You might want to put it also in your notes. In direct marketing, no matter what you use, delay is death. Delay is death. If a person says, well, this is an interesting piece of copy, I'll put it on my desk, and I'll think about it, and I'll get back to it in a couple of days. You know what happens? Nothing. They, they, people forget about it. What you need is an incentive to do it now. And it's a very positive, have a very positive incentive. There's a real advantage to doing it now. You get a special price if you do it now, rather than waiting and delaying and delaying and delaying, because people procrastinate. Because they procrastinate, they wonder, should I be investing money in this? What about, what about this, that, and the other? What about other expenses? What about taxes and so forth? You have these thoughts in people's minds. So you want to give people an incentive to buy now. And I, all of my ads, there's a reason to buy now. In the next 10 days, if you order with an, there's a free bonus, we use this a lot. If there's, a, there's a free bonus for early birds. If you order now, within the next 10 days, you'll get these five free bonuses. And at the, at the end of 10 days, the rest of the people don't get the bonuses. So there's an incentive to buy now. That's what you want to build into your stuff because delay is death. If you tell people, hey, yeah, we're here, and we've got this nice offer, and we're good people, and look at our benefits, and ah, you're going to get very small percent responses. But if you get these 10 super-duper free bonuses, or three, or five, or whatever it is that you have, if you order within the next 24, if you order immediately, if you order by midnight tonight, if you're on the internet, electronically delivering these messages, it can be a very powerful tool. Okay. Next, the lowest risk form of marketing is via two-step sales. You remember I showed you the first ad that I ever ran? It's a two-step ad. You run the ad, people, what you're doing with the ad is getting people to raise their hand. The goal of the two-step selling technique is to get the prospect to raise their hand. Yeah, Ted, I'm interested. Tell me more. And your job is to tell them more. And how do you tell them more? By a long-form sales letter, no matter how you deliver it. You want to tell them everything that they need to know about your product, every benefit, every single benefit. People tell me, ask me all the time, Ted, do people read all those long letters? And the answer is absolutely. Now, you remember you learned in school in English, you got A's in English, and you, the, you, your, your letter would be three sentences. It would say, wherein we got yours of March 23rd. Three sentences. It's too long. It's too boring. The worst thing you can do is bore somebody in copy. It's the very biggest myth. Copy can never be too long. One of my seminar attendees, one of the most successful marketers in America, Jeff Paul, I helped him create a 56-page sales letter, 56 pages. His market are financial planners, left-brain type guys. You know, I used to look at charts, you know. Nice guys, but they're into this left. But they are fed up with working for these big insurance companies that have these ridiculous staffs of lawyers that are, that are second-guessing every word of copy and they have the most boring stuff and they have no support materials. So Jeff's 56-page letter is basically says, are you tired of getting all this stuff that doesn't work? Wouldn't you like to know how to attract people to your services and how you can really attract clients and how you can fill rooms of seminars where people come in and listen to you present your financial products. And, he, and he, the whole 56-page letter is about 56 pages people read every single word, and he's got a very high response rate, and the product is about 800 US dollars. It's a, it's a uh, tape course, CD course. OK. In most cases, for two-step ads, use Small display ads, and I underline small display ads, not classified ads, because classified ads, unfortunately, only work for a few products, such as if they're car-related. Think about it. When you look at the classified ads pages, you look at things that are car-related, that are apartment or house-related, 
in very few instances, business opportunities, but very few papers now and magazines, except a few directed to the small business opportunities, have opportunity sections in the classified ads. It's often and usually much better to have small display ads because you can choose the part of the newspaper, if you're doing newspapers, where you put the ad. Now, does anyone know the best part of a newspaper, the most read part of a newspaper, is what? Most read part of a newspaper.